The Lunar New Year celebrations continue. They culminate this weekend in San Francisco. The annual Chinese New Year Parade and Festival kicks off tomorrow night. Yeah, ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn live in San Francisco with the very latest on the plan. Suzanne? So, Kristen, Larry, so much work has to get done before this parade. We're at the a corner of Kearney and Sacramento tonight. You can see all the barricades here across the street. I see the forklift driver zipping back and forth, just working on the bleachers there. Now, last year, hundreds of thousands of people turned out, even in the heavy downpour, and organizers are expecting even more people this year. Expect to see dozens of lions from the Lion Dance Me Team in Saturday's Chinese New Year Parade. Norman Lau is the dance team director. About 30 lions, about maybe seven to eight dragons. We'll see. Check out what Lau has in his hands. It's a lion, lion head costume. This is about 13 pounds, much lighter nowadays. Lao has about 100 to 120 people participating in lion dance performances. There are local high school students who practice seven days a week for local shows, ending with the beloved Chinese New Year Parade in Chinatown SF. A great culmination of just the ending of the Lunar New Year celebration. On San Francisco streets, crews are quickly putting up the bleachers. Big crowds are expected to pack the stands, rain or shine. I expect very beautiful weather, like 70 degrees. Will be very, very, very beautiful and more crowded. Thank goodness, no rain. No rain. It's very exciting. Peter Ng will be there. The parade happens every year. Um, there's lots of people coming all over the country. They come here um, just to watch the parade because it's only once a year. Ryan Fong, who used to be a lion dancer and now volunteers with the Miss Chinatown pageant, loves the parade for so many reasons. Seeing the lion dancers, seeing the marching bands, and of course, seeing the, the new court of the Miss Chinatown USA pageant. The Grand Marshal this year is actress Aquafina. That's very exciting for the city of San Francisco. It's, um, yeah, I'm excited to see her if, if I get to see her. The business owner of Discount Cigarettes on Kearney and Commercial says the parade is good for business and great for the community. So beautiful. I watched this uh, more than maybe 10 times. Only one a year, once a year, to see this Kearney Street like full of people like this much. Yeah, it's so, so exciting. And because of all the traffic and so many people, organizers suggest you get here early for the parade, maybe as early as 3 or 4 p.m. This year, there will be a grand finale fireworks show at Union Square, so that should be a lot of fun. We're live in San Francisco. Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.